everybody, how's it going? Matt Sweets here with another unboxing. Now today's unboxing is special. I say this every time, but today I'm very serious because these kendamas were designed by a new designer that we've been working with here at Sweets Kendama. So I'm very excited to announce the new V32 series designed after album artwork. Look at these beautiful kendamas. Oh man, now you may know right off the rip what some of these albums are, but you may not. So let's just dive into them and see which each one is all about. The first one we're going to look at is called The Oni, and it is Kids See Ghosts is the album by Kid Cudi and Kanye West. Now, I have to talk about the designer for one second. Piku from Instagram is someone that we met through our Community Kendama series. As you guys know, we just released them. You guys picked three winners from the series. Now we also picked someone behind the scenes that we loved everything that they created and we've been working with them to create their very own V series and that's exactly what Piku did here. So we got some stickers in here as always. Um, they are records. So right there we got that Sweets record looking very cool. You don't even know what it is at first, but you gotta take a second glance and really see. And then we got some records here. We got the seals as always and the mini Dama stickers to put on your phone. And we also have a string and bead, just in case you need one. Now, Piku wanted to design album artwork kendamas because he really loves hip hop and it was something where he felt he could put his own inspiration into it. So, like I said, this is the first one. And it is not an exact one-to-one -one replica. He just took the essence of what the album artwork was supposed to be and he tried to apply it to the dama. So if you see this album artwork, Cooper will put it up on the screen. This line in the middle really represents that monster's mouth, really represents the jaws of that beast that you see on the album artwork. And the rest is just making it a very good playable kendama, really following in line with the colors of the album artwork. So lots of fading into some cool colors and some warm colors, but in general, I think it's a really nice dama, regardless of if you know the album or not. Um, we go down into the Ken and we get a little bit more details for it. In the cup, you see we got the mountain, Mount Fuji, I believe is what that one is right there from the album artwork. And then we also have the leaves that are falling from the trees in, in the artwork. Now, one thing that he did that is really, really cool is he wanted to not only show the graphic side of the album artwork, but he also wanted to pay an ode to the actual music itself. So underneath every Serato, uh, underneath the big cup, you're going to see a time stamp. Now that time stamp is how long the album is. And I thought that was a really cool addition that he added to bring a little bit of the actual album insides to this Dama. So every Dama, you'll, you'll be able to relate the album to that time, which I thought is really cool. So first one, beautiful Kendama, I just love it. And as always, we have them in Kush as well. So we'll be, we'll be doing ratio, sticky, and cushion, just like we do for all V-series drops. All right, now the next one is actually an album that I like a lot and one that I have listened to many, many times, and that is Flower Boy by Tyler, the Creator. Now this is the one that caught my eye when Piku entered our contest. It was the one that I loved the most, it was the one I related to the most, and I think in the end it's the design that really pops the hardest for me as far as graphic design goes. Um, so let's take a look at the Tama. And if you see this album artwork, it is so spot on, it's just crazy. He takes the bees off and he applies them to the Ken, so we'll look at that in a second. Um, but what we have is the landscape. I mean, as you can see with the album artwork, this is a spot on replica. What he did is instead of the field of sunflowers, he decided to put one right on the bottom as the tracking for this Dama, which I think is just beautiful. So the top has a, a fade, so we're, we're showing off the, the sun vibes here. And then the clouds, I just love how cartoony the clouds are. I think it's, it's not just this normal puffy cloud. There's some uh, shading and some really cool texture things that make these clouds like pop off the Dama. So now if we move down, you can see obviously we have the beehive on the Ken, which I think is a really cool touch because I said that there's no bees on the Tama, so he tried to apply some bee stuff to the Ken. In the cup, we have the bee wing, which I thought was really cool. Instead of just putting the whole bee, we just got a really cool texturization of, of a wing. And then underneath, as always, uh, we have the timestamp as well. Go give that a listen and, and snag this down. It's beautiful. I love how they're all so different. They tell a story without being super obvious about it, which I love. And even if you don't know these albums, I still think the Damas stand alone 
uh, as really cool pieces of art and really cool kendama design. This last one is what inspired Piku to do this line. It is Man on the Moon by Kid Cudi. And this is where he got his main idea. This is where he was like, well, you know, I was trying to do some albums that I didn't love and it wasn't working, so he decided to try to do one of an album he loved the most, and that's where this one came, and he really started to get traction and decided that this is what he would do. This Tama is amazing. I love the contrast of the black night sky to all the, the popping orange and purple colors we have here. It's not quite splatter, and it's not quite a perfect fade. It's really got a lot of texture down there, which is super cool to me. And then on the top is we have that moon. So uh, the man on the moon, you'll see this more more obvious than anything else on the on the Dama. And like I said, these are just things that we took inspiration from, that Piku took inspiration from. Not trying to do a one-to-one, -one, but really try to bring the essence of the album to the Ken. And I think he did that good job on this one. From the Tama, we go down to the Ken. Uh, we obviously have a little bit of constellations cracking on the Ken. So you can figure out what they are when you snag. And then we have the, the moon man right there in the cup, which is just another cool man on the moon reference. And then underneath is always timestamp, bringing it back to the actual music uh, that these damas were created for. So this dama also again in Kush as well. Um, but these damas all together, I think are a really cool series and a really unique series that all tell a story and come together in one way or another. Whatever color you like, whatever you're into, I think there's a Dama here for you. Um, these Damas all drop Friday, 4 p.m. CST as always. If you didn't know, we have a new Dama Dollars program cracking and you have lots of ways to get free money towards free Kendama. So make sure you check that out when you check out to get one of these bad boys, okay? Thank you very much. Shout out Piku for his first ever V-Series design for Sweets Kendamas. Uh, we're really stoked to work with him in the future. And I hope you all love these Damas. Go jam some of these tunes and snag a few clips and send them our way. Thank you for tuning in as always. Make sure you comment down below what other albums you think would be cool damas to be inspired by. Make sure you sub and we will see you at the next video. Later everybody. What up everybody? Thanks for checking out that video. If you like what you just watched, make sure you go hit that subscribe button and make sure you go punch that shop button and get yourself a new dama. We have tons of other videos for you to watch so make sure you go check them out. See you next time.